Ever find yourself scrolling through a long page and wish you could instantly jump to the top? Well, now you can make that happen with ease using the scroll to top widget by W Design Kit. Not only will it take your site visitor straight to the top, but it's also flexible enough to be linked to specific sections of your web page. Featuring multiple button styles, fun SVG icons and an easy setup, this widget is a real time saver. So, what are we waiting for? Let's dive in and see how you can add this button to your WordPress site in no time. The widget we will be using here is offered by W Design Kit. Speaking in terms of figures, it includes over 2000 pre-designed templates and 100 plus pre-built widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks, along with a cloud workspace and much more. We will discuss about more of its features in detail soon, so make sure you watch this video till the very end. Now let's start with the tutorial. Make sure you have installed Elementor. And we will also need W Design Kit, so come up here and click Add New Plugin. Then search for it. And here it is, W Design Kit. Simply click on Install Now. Then Activate. Moving ahead to Appearance. And here as you can notice, I am using Next a theme. However, feel free to use any other theme as per your preference. Now in order to use this plugin, we will need to make an account with W Design Kit. Simply come here and click on W Design Kit. Next, up here in the header section, click on Login. At the bottom here, it's written don't have an account. Click Sign Up. Now this web page will open up where it's visible that you can sign up with your socials or here after you fill all the details mentioned, simply click on this button. I already have an account so I'll simply click Sign In. And then I will click on Continue with Google. Once you're logged in, you will get to see this kind of interface. It's time to activate our widget, so come up here in the header section and click on Browse Widgets. Now search, scroll to top. Out of these two, we are going to make use of this one, that is scroll to top for Elementor. Simply download it by clicking on this icon. After that, also let's make sure it's downloaded by going into the My Widget section. Perfect. Now on opening the Elementor editor, here's the basic page design in which I have already imported the widget. If you want to do the same, simply come here in the widgets panel and search scroll to top. Then drag and drop it inside the workspace. For now, let's just select the widget from the navigator and under the content tab in here, you will get to see the customization options. Upon opening the content dropdown, you will notice there are 5 sub options available. The first one is title using which you can add text to the button. See? Next, this select icon option allows you to choose whether you want an icon or an image to appear within the button. There are three options in here that are icon, image and none. Select whichever suits your preference. Personally, I'm happy with the current icon only so I'll leave it as it is. However, I should mention that this is a custom icon. How did I upload it? It's really simple. Go to icon section, click on upload SVG, and select the icon you want. That's it. Your custom icon is uploaded. If you don't have a custom icon or logo, don't worry. Elementor's exclusive icon library is also just a click away. Just open it and browse through hundreds of creative icons and pick the one you like. Moving on, the select site sub option here will allow you to change the icon's orientation. Let's click on vertical and see how it looks. Done. We've now covered all the sub options under the content option. Now let's get to the main part. How do we make this button functional? Specifically if you will ask me Kunal how can we ensure that clicking it takes us back to the top of the page? Well the answer lies in the extra options. On opening its drop down here you will find a field labeled connection ID where we need to put in the CSS ID of the topmost container. Now you must be thinking from where I can find and get this CSS ID. Well let me guide you through this process step by step. First, open the navigator and as you can see in our case, we don't have multiple containers here. Just one main parent container that holds all the elements. Simply select it. Next, in the side panel, go to its advanced tab, scroll down within the layout dropdown and here you will see the CSS ID field. Right now as visible, it's empty. Simply type something in it like join dash the dash community. Now this my friend is your container CSS ID. Copy it from here and paste it into the connection ID input field of our scroll to top button. That's it. 
Your button is now linked and functional. Let's check it if it's working or not. Cool. The button is now active and doing its job. Seeing that, it's done. Our scroll to top button is now ready to go online with our WordPress site. So, let me now go ahead, click on update and give you the final view. Now, don't forget to explore other amazing features W Design Kit offers. It provides various design assets and resources to create amazing WordPress websites in a matter of minutes. With its 2000 plus page templates, sections and kits, you can import pre-made WordPress websites. It comes with its own power widget builder using which you can convert any custom code to element or widget, blocks or bricks elements. And not only that, as we shared earlier, it has its own 100 plus growing collection of pre-made widgets for element or Gutenberg and bricks. Using W Design Kit Page Builder Converter, you can convert your Elementor widget to Gutenberg blocks and even bricks elements. Amazing, right? Lastly, for all the power WordPress users who create multiple websites, W Design Kit also comes with its cloud workspace, where you can store your created widgets and page sections on the cloud and import on any other website, as well as collaborate with your team members. To be honest, you can say me delusional, but W Design Kit is the tool which can increase your productivity by 100%. It comes with both free and pro plan. You can check all the details from this pricing page and choose the plan which suits your need. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Now, if you are curious, be sure to check out our upcoming video where I will show you how you can transform your portfolio using the scroll portfolio widget, giving it a sleek and modern edge. Most probably, we'll be uploading this video next week. So don't you forget to press that little bell icon while you subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning and stay creative.